Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to adjust the flame on an oxyacetylene setup for brazing copper tubing. So there's three flames. There is the oxidizing flame, the neutral flame, and the reducing flame. And we want to get to the reducing flame for brazing copper tubing. So I'm going to show you what those flames look like, and I'm going to show you how to adjust the regulators for the regulator pressure for the acetylene and also for the oxygen. So you know all of our connections have already been leak checked. So you always want to check them with bubble leak detector to make sure that you don't have a leaking acetylene coming out. So you know this is a uniweld setup with a number two tip. And this is a acetylene MC tank. And that's a 10 cubic foot tank. And this is an oxygen R tank. And that's a 20 cubic foot tank. All of our connections have previously been, been leak checked with bubble leak detector. So you always want to make sure that those are, are checked and safe. I have all the fire suppression stuff we need here. It's ABC fire extinguisher. We have a bucket of water with a wet rag, and we also have a spray bottle with water in it. You want to make sure you have shielded glasses and not just sunglasses that are shaded, uh, but ones that are specified for welding and brazing. We have our gloves for our heat, sparker, and then we're using our ratcheting service wrench in order to open up our acetylene tank. So I'm going to put my gloves on, put my eye protection on. So first things first, you want to make sure that you have these backed out and that you're not going to allow pressure into your hoses. So this right here is going to be your tank pressure for your oxygen and your tank pressure for your acetylene. So if these are backed out, then when we open up the tank, it's only going to allow pressure into here, and it's not going to allow it into your secondary gauge for your hoses. So we'll use our ratcheting service wrench, and we're going to go counterclockwise in order to open this up. You're going to do it slowly, and you're only going to go about a quarter of a turn, and that's so that if there's an emergency, it's easy to shut the tank. You see that we're just under about half of a tank. Now we'll open up our oxygen. Once again, just make sure that you do it slowly, and then you can go ahead and open that one up. And if you see on that one, we're right above 1600 PSI. Now we're gonna get ready to set our secondary gauge at five PSI when this valve is open. So this is where you have your red fuel acetylene hose attached in and we'll open this up and then we're going to turn this until we get to five. So right there. Then when we shut this, you see it might go up to about seven or so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the oxygen hose and we're going to turn this until we get to 10 PSIG. So right there. So then we're going to go ahead and shut that. So now we're getting ready to light our torch. So you know, I always have this tip to the side. When I have these, these, uh, these valves right here, I have this to the side. So I can see the flame while I'm adjusting the handles. So that's the way I like to do it. And also when I'm lighting the torch, I open up the oxygen a little bit first. And then I open up the acetylene and then light it. Because if you just light the acetylene by itself... You're going to have a lot of black dust all over. So if you're in the house, you don't want to have that stuff get all over inside the building. So that's what I do. I open this, just crack this a little bit first. So we'll open up this oxygen first just a little bit. And then we'll open up our acetylene. And then we'll light it. We have a nice controlled flame. And then we can go ahead and increase our acetylene right here. And as you see right now, we have a nice reducing flame. So there's three flames. There's the inner one, and then the middle one, and then the outer one. So that's how you can tell what the reducing flame is. Hopefully you can see the three flames right there. And if we wanted to get to, say, a neutral flame, what we could do is we could either adjust the oxygen or acetylene. But in this case, we'll go ahead and adjust the oxygen. And what we'll do is we'll increase the oxygen until the inner flame meets the second flame and so you only have two flames now so you don't have that middle flame anymore you just have that inner one and this is when both gases are mixed about the same ratio to get to a oxidizing flame we could increase the oxygen even more and you hear that noise that's an indication of an oxidizing flame and that's going to be your hottest flame so let's go ahead and shut this back down a little bit so here's our neutral flame and then here's our reducing flame. So this is where we want to stay at for when we're brazing. So we can adjust this reducing flame, this middle flame, out as far as we would like. But basically this is going to give us a lot of control for when we're brazing. Uh, it's going to allow to not end up putting a hole in the copper tubing uh, compared to a 
neutral flame or an oxidizing flame. And this flame will actually wrap around the tubing a little bit better as well. So this is, this is what we're looking for right here. So in order to shut this off now, what we could do is we could open up this oxygen even more and then shut down your acetylene slowly. And that way it won't make a big popping noise. Now you have both of these shut. So now we shut our tanks off. So now we let our gas out one at a time and we're going to go ahead and let our acetylene out first. Shut that and then we'll let our oxygen out. And then shut that. So I want to make sure that those are always shut. Our tanks are shut and for added protection you could back these out just in case you happen to open up a bottle. If you're looking for this oxyacetylene setup I have it linked down in the description section below as well as the number two tip and also the captain hook tip. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.